a very pleasant morning respected principal reverend brother hector pinto brothers teachers and my fellow students today class 9th b is going to present an assembly on the topic importance of sports sports and games are very important for us they keep us healthy and active they offer us a change from our boring daily lives it is a useful means of entertainment and physical activity sports and games help us in character building they give us energy and strength now my fellow classmates will enlighten you further about this topic taking part in sport can help us feel fitter healthier and mentally strong and that is just the start of it sport can also be fun especially when played as part of a team with family or friends better sleep a strong heart improve lung function increase confidence reduces stress improve mental health improved energy levels teamwork better sleep exercise and sport triggers chemicals in the brain that can make you feel happier and relaxed team sports provide a change to unwind and take part in an activity that improves your fitness if you play sports outside you can benefit from fresh air which is said to promote a good night's sleep power is a muscle and needs frequent exercise to help keep fit and healthy a healthy heart can pump blood efficiently around your body your heart will improve in performance when it is regularly challenged with exercises stronger heart can improve overall health of a body improved lung function regular sport causes more oxygen to be drawn into the body with carbon monoxide and waste gases expelled this increases the lung capacity during sport improving lung function and efficiency reduce your stress active your mind get a chance to unplug from daily stresses and strains of life physical exercises help to reduce strain hormones in your body and stimulates the increase of endorphins these endorphins may give you more energy and focus for whatever life has teamwork is key to success in sports you have to collaborate with other team members to win to succeed in education a student needs to work hand in hand with teachers and fellow students after school when working on a project those with teamwork skills achieve the objective employers are interested in hiring employees who can work together with other employees to achieve a common goal teamwork skills are among other requirements to, re to requirements of a secure though this may be obvious teamwork is one of the basic skills sports can teach participants teamwork helps motivate participants to do their part assisting the team to reach its ultimate goal teamwork also involves the delegation of task which is what successful leaders do every day this is also called inspirational leadership leaders require excellent communication skills playing sports help people develop the ability to work together effectively using techniques that apply in business situations too for example a tennis player serving and his doubles partner communicates using a series of signals finding a way to communicate effectively in any situation helps a leader succeed in business too people who play sports learns how to present their winning ideas to others leaders improve their leadership qualities by listening others and speaking and writing clearly and convincingly communication is one of the best leadership qualities which can be developed by sports teamwork and communication are not effective unless there are organization and strategies behind it Sport and team activities give opportunities for participants to come up with a game plan and strategies to win. Leaders always have the ultimate goal in the mind. They do away with pointless meetings, develop strategies and make sure the work being done is effective and efficient. 
Playing sport helps participants learn to make decisions by observing and interpreting information quickly. Effective leaders exhibit decisive behavior. For example, a football player typically has only a few seconds to decide where to pass. Playing sports helps a person develop the good leadership qualities and behavior necessary to succeed in a dynamic global workplace. They can experience the success that comes with proper preparation or the failure that comes when not enough focus is placed into putting the time into effort and get better. It's most likely the same scenario in their school careers. Sports person can learn how to be proud of their successes without demeaning their opponents. They learn their accomplishment can be cherished so that the focus is on the pride that goes along with team success without letting an attitude of superiority drive their feelings towards their opponents. Youngsters can also learn how to deal with failure not winning the competition or accomplishing particular athletic goal. They can be taught that any failure is just a temporary setback from which lessons can be learned in order to improve and have a better chance of winning the next time. Successful people are the ones who set short term and long term goals and focus their efforts on accomplishing these goals. Organized athletics lends itself to setting both individual and team goals and then striving for those goals. It does not matter the skill level of the young athlete or the accomplishment of team goals. Goals can set that mirror the improvement desire and then the plan of action can be mapped out to reach those goals. morning today's headlines on the occasion of independence day the school staff followed the tradition of hoisting india's flag at the college front chief guest brother bedo did the honors moreover two videos were uploaded on the school youtube channel which included various activities performed by students a workshop about social justice awareness had been conducted by saint columba's delhi on 17th and 18th july exclusively for Edmund Rice schools and another meeting will be conducted on the 1st of September regarding the same. A COVID awareness video was uploaded on YouTube as a part of a project for social justice awareness. Borders reported back to school on the 24th of August, which will be followed by day scholars on the 31st of the same month. On 25th and 26th August, the school participated in Claude Martin debate and Bolon Lee's quiz respectively, which was organized by La Martinier College for Boys, Lucknow. Mr. Amit Messi, English teacher and one of the social justice animators of our school, attended a webinar organized by Wipro called the Wipro Ardian Sustainability Program. That's it for today. Thank you. Why are you engaged in sports? What good are they bringing to you? Let me tell you, sports is just not all about physical fitness. It has many more aspects. Teamwork, coordination and many more. These are just a few. Sports are as equal as studies as you can name them. It helps you to build a nice nature with your teammates and help you mutually and harmony. You can respect each other as if you play sports like a team. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, Ronaldo going past Mascarano. Crossing dangerously. Beaten away by Bravo. First major threat on the Barcelona goal. Excellent uh, combination play. Bobby Hannes and Cristiano Ronaldo.
Iniesta, Mascherano. When there are so many players playing, why is there only one ball? Can't we give each player a ball to play with? Suppose, if you give a person what they want without them letting know or with them working hard, how will they benefit the team? So, suppose like in football, the players are very committed and determined for a goal. That's the reason. You had your match today, 
I believe. How did it go? Did you win? Sadly, no. We lost, and I'm never gonna play again. What's the point if I play, give it all I had, and never win? If you want to quit, then go for it. I won't stop you. But remember, if you give up now, then you will be no different from all other who chose to back down and ended up nowhere. Success doesn't come an instant. You fall, you rise, and get knocked down again and again and again. But it is your willingness to keep rising each time you fall, which takes you where you want to be. I'm sorry, I thought of quitting. Thank you for bringing me back to my senses. Hey, could you lend me your book for some days? It would be a great help. No, I do not share my personal belongings with anyone. So no, it's a straight no. It's okay, I understand that. By the way, did you hear about two high jumpers in the Olympics who shared their gold medal? They displayed true sportsmanship and proved that the spirit of unity of Olympics is not empty. Both belong to different countries and yet shared their medal. If that is not the epitome of sharing, then I don't know what is. I'm sorry, you made me realize how selfish I was. Here, take mine. Uh, it's been, I mean, it's been crazy. I still can't believe it, that it happened. Uh, and when I, well, yeah, if you want to know about the tie, I mean, when the judge come to us and ask, do you know the rules about jump off? We just watch each other to our eyes, <laughs> and we didn't say nothing. We just hug ourselves. We we just we went didn't even to listen. He, he he didn't even finish. We're like, ah, you know the rules. Yeah, we, we, whatever. Yeah, we know. <laughs> that, <that's laughs> we don't care about the. <laughs> we don't. I mean, it's the rule. Okay. No, I'm joking. I I will probably I will never ever share a gold medal with anybody else than Mutaz because we pass. We were the only two athletes there passed through the worst injury a jumper can pass through, and uh, I know what he did. To be back, he know what I did to be back, and you can't leave uh, the emotion, the dream of a gold medal to somebody who sacrificed his entire life for this. And it was just amazing. And sharing with a friend is even more beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> we gonna celebrate, Thank you. Thank Thank you. Thank Questions you. for the men's high jump medalist. This is a this is a real moment here. I mean, uh, when we say we've been through a lot, just doesn't mean that like we literally. You have some days that we couldn't even jog, you know, I couldn't get out of the bed. I need help to get out of the bed. I need help to go to the toilet, you know, and just not even thinking of putting a shoe and can actually do some jogging or something. So this is beyond imagi imagination for me. It's unreal. 
uh, it was so many dark nights. We sacrificed so much, and I know he he did the same thing. So uh, for me coming here, and I know for a fact that for the performance that we've been putting, I deserve that goal, and he did the same thing. So I know he deserved that goal. So it wasn't even a question. It's it's this is really i know this is also beyond sport you know this is a true sportsmanship this is the message we deliver to the young generation and everything so guys this is this is a, i would say this is a history in the making so our being